we can follow a rate of reaction by looking at it. Here is another way of measuring the rate of reaction that I'm sure you are all very familiar with. This is a very common one in class. We have sodium disulfate and hydrochloric acid. And as the reaction progresses, what you will start to see is that the solution goes a bit cloudy. Now the reason it goes cloudy is because of the sulfur being produced. And after a while, what you'll start to see is you won't be able to see the cross on the bottom. This is another way of measuring the rate of reaction. So we know when the reaction's finished, when we can't see the cross anymore. That's because loads and loads of sulfur has been produced, um, which goes cloudy, so you can't see the cross on the bottom. This is a very common experiment, which they ask about in exams. It's just a different way to follow the rate of reaction. So a precipitate being produced, which just means a solid in a liquid, so it will go cloudy. And the precipitate here is going to be the sulfur. And that's why you can't see the cross. What you'll do is you'll add the two solutions together, time it until you can't see the cross anymore. You can either change the temperature or you can change the concentration. This re reaction will be applicable to many different types of reaction that you want to measure. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to deal the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.